In this video, I'm gonna show you a new business model that enables the artist that you're working with to get more traction and work with you longer, while at the same time giving you as the producer more predictable income stream that you can rely on every month. Hey, Daniel here from Dark Label Music. If you're a working music producer, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. It's what we're all about. Check out the cool stuff that I leave in the description below. Quick caveat before we jump into this class. This is not really for beginners. It's for producers that have experience working with artists. Let's go. All right, so this model is called the Momentum Model. It's one way to increase some of the consistency in your business. It's not the end all be all way. So, you know, use it or don't. But we developed this because some of the producers that we represent wanted kind of a deeper way to continue working with the clients that they really enjoy working with and really believe in and want to get behind and kind of go above and beyond for them and kind of lock them in and make sure that long term they're going to be working with them as that artist kind of expands their career. This isn't like a traditional production deal or anything like that, but it's, I guess, kind of halfway between just doing a one-off project with someone and then like signing a production deal with them. So really what it's meant to do is help the artist with kind of the big three things that can prevent them from you know, building the career that they want and keeping momentum. So like the first thing is obviously um, consistency of releases. The second thing is going to be, you know, being able to continue to afford the producer. The third thing is going to be having like a plan of action, whether that's release strategy or are they making the best moves in between the releases? Um, and this is kind of why we want to do it this way. So let's say this line right here is 12 months, one year out of the artist career. Generally, what things look like is, you know, they start writing, they do a thing, they release a song, they're not really sure what to do with it. And that's kind of it. The excitement goes back down like, okay, well, let's try again. They release another song and same thing kind of happens. They try it again. Maybe they do, you know, four key singles that year. And again, without a plan, without momentum, they release it. Maybe it gets a little bit of traction and then things just kind of die down. So what we would rather things look like for the artists that we're working with is that it starts down here and it's just this continuous forward, upward momentum, right? That way they're growing, they're growing and they're growing. Because the risk that we run is, let's say they're hiring you as a producer and they're paying you good money to produce the song. The songs are turning out good, but nothing's more frustrating, right, than when you make a great song and nothing happens with it. And every song's not going to pop off or anything. But I think when artists have a, a guide, a, you know, a producer, assuming that you have the experience to help artists um, as a guide, a mentor, bringing in other resources, maybe you do other services for them. Um, and again, this is primarily for like independent, independent producers and independent artists working together. I know bigger artists have teams, bigger producers don't really need to do this unless they want to. Um, this is for independent producers that have experience working with artists and have an interest in developing artists. And you wouldn't do this with every client anyway. These are just the ones you really want to work with long term. But what we run the risk of is, you know, let's say they spend a good amount of money with you to produce this song. They do the same thing here. They do the same thing here, but there's no momentum happening. I mean, around here, they're going to be like, honestly, we can't keep spending this amount of money to get a song produced. Or maybe they try a different producer, or maybe they say, oh, we need to figure out how to produce ourselves, which I'm not like completely against that. But realistically, if you look at career, real career artist, very, 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 very small percentage of them can actually produce themselves and have a career with it. It's super small. The chances that they're going to be able to like do production as well as a real producer and be a breakout, like, you know, star artist, it just doesn't happen that often. So the point is though, at some point they start reconsidering what, what the hell they're doing with their career. Right? So 
consistency, continuing able, continue, I can't talk, continuing, I'm not going to edit this, continuing to uh, be able to afford you as a producer and having some kind of plan of action. So this is basically what we have some of our clients do. Um, let's say they get the artist to commit to you know, four releases a month or four releases a year. I'm sorry. In between, maybe they're doing some acoustic shit and remixes, but four like legit key releases every year with videos and all that kind of stuff. Well, in between what the producer is doing is they're providing whatever, again, whatever your background is, resources, connections, other services you do, just general mentorship. And you're making sure that in between these releases, that one, the release strategy goes well, but that in between, they know what they need to be doing to compound one release into the next, compounding these little moments into traction, into ultimately a career. That's why I said this isn't a beginner tutorial, but if you're a beginner, think about this stuff for the future. And what they do is they say, okay, cool. So that kind of takes care of the consistency, it takes care of the plan, knowing what to do. But now what about the money? Well, artists generally have, you know, they have to be smart with how they're budgeting and spending money. Producers struggle with getting consistent money, right? So this kind of solves both. Let's say that um, you charge $1,200 a song. It's like an average for the independent producers we work with. Let's say you're going to do four a year. I'm picking really easy math here. Plug in your own numbers. Um, so four times 12, 4,800. And let's say you split that into monthly payments of 400 for the artist. Now, again, they're committing to that, okay? And you want to do this with an artist that you know and trust, all right? Because you're not getting as much up front. There is a little risk associated with it, of course. Anytime you split up payments for people, there's a risk associated with it. So far, we haven't seen that our producers have, you know, have much issues with it. But let's say that it's 400 a month. Well, now you know predictably this is what's coming in for you and the artist can kind of plan that out. So it enables them to still work together with you or work with you rather. So it solves this. It solves their consistency problem because they're committing. This is accountability too. Even great artists need help with accountability. So they're committing to doing, we're doing four releases this year. The money is it's easier for us to do and we can pre-plan and know what we need to do to uh, budget that. And then of course, the third thing is they get that extra support from the producer to continue growing. And what's cool is if you get, you know, um, whatever it is, like 10 of these clients, well, that's, or 10 of these kind of, you know, arrangements, if you will, they're probably already clients. Um, that's 48,000, that's 50,000 that you can bank on that, uh, that year. Um, if let's see, what else do I want to say about this? Oh, don't do this on, um, like if it's your, like if it's your first time working with this client, don't, this is generally just reserved for the artist. You really want to get behind, you really believe in, you want to develop a bit more and they've kind of upfront told you like, Hey, you know, we want to keep working with you, but we need some kind of different arrangement for the money. And we love some extra help because we want to be able to do something consistently. You know, I'm not saying just plug this into what you're doing. This is just an option. If you have an artist that you want to continue work, working with, and these are some of the issues that they brought up or it's some of the issues you've seen with them. You want to make sure it's an artist you like working with though. Don't offer this just right out of the gate to some artists you haven't worked with yet. Build a bit of a relationship with them first. Also, you don't want this to be like all of your income. Bigger chunks of money up front, like getting these, you know, $1,200, $2,000 singles up front. You want that. You want that coming in because you just never know. And this is just, again, a um, just a, another model you can add to your business. But I wouldn't go all in on it. A smart way to look at it is to say, hey, how can I get it to cover just my like fixed, you know, fixed expenses every month? That'd be a good way to look at it. I'd say most of the producers that I have that work this, that add this model in with some of their artists, 
maybe 30% of 30 or 40% of their income is kind of recurring clients like this. And that just covers their, their fixed expenses to run their business and live. And then the rest of the projects are just kind of, you know, one off stuff like this or ancillary income streams or other things that we help help them do. But it's just nice to have some predictability in your business. It's a cool way to make sure the artist gets the traction they need because if the, a lot of times when they're left to their own devices, this is what it looks like. They have these peaks and big peaks and big valleys. They don't have a constant upward, you know, momentum, which is what they need. Here's a couple of examples of this in real life, just so you know, it's a real thing. Um, so this is John True, one of our alumni, and he said, big wins around here, landed three clients last week, two of which are doing recurring monthly wages for ongoing production artist development. Uh, so I've got 6,200 income this month, same set for next month, and they're the same set for March. So John, like I said, probably 30, 40% of his business is this. Um, and then we got Adam Clark, 1500 guaranteed for March, 500 every two weeks and three songs for three songs doing co-productions. It's one project and a thousand a month for 12 months starting in April. It's another project, 500 every two weeks starting in April for two more songs, co-productions. So you can have different like different setups based on the client's needs. So you're, you're going to see all different variations of this, of this model. Again, with Adam, probably I'd say actually a little higher, probably like 50% of his clients he does. He does this with um, he's pretty high high rate producer so there you go you can see real producers do it it's a thing um, that's it give it a shot if you have a clientele implement it see you see what happens and uh, if you want to talk with me about it I dropped a link in the description we can book a quick little 15 minute intro call with me and we can chat business or management services or whatever you need and I got fancy doors man Look at, you gotta hire a guy with fancy doors. Don't talk to anyone else. We'll see you next time.